Now, why do you want to keep an agenda system? Because what it's going to do is create a master list of short-term and long-term tasks. That way you're not forgetting things. Um, and you're also going to be able to visually see ahead of time, whoa, that week sucks, it's really busy, or maybe, whoa, that week is pretty chill, I can do some other things besides schoolwork. Also, what you can then do is combine it with the Container G tool and start making prioritized lists. Um, agenda systems are really helpful and purposeful. There is the rare person who can just remember everything, but these systems really do work. It's a matter of finding a system that is personalized to you and also finding a system of creating a habit out of it. So I'm gonna go over how to do this for both written versions and also on your phone. I'll go over some tips and tricks and then how to actually turn this into a habit and make it purposeful for you. So when it comes to a written agenda or planner, the biggest tip I can give is add a box next to each item you're going to, you want to accomplish in the day. That's a visual reminder. I haven't done this. I need to do this. Once I do it, I can then check it off. Plus it's pretty fun to check it off. When it comes to your phone, I'll see a lot of people take photos, but then those photos get lost in your camera roll and you forget about them. So what you need to do is take advantage of the album feature and create an album for each class. This way you're organizing your photos and you're able to efficiently find them, but also you'll see the album when you open up your photos and then that will remind you, I need to check these things. Another thing is I really suggest not using the notes app for an agenda on your phone. I think it's totally okay to use notes for your container G prioritize list, but it's not gonna allow you to do the long-term planning ahead. So I suggest getting an agenda app. There are lots of free ones available. Um, the one that I really suggest using based off of other people's suggestions is Google Keep, but definitely search around and try until you find one that fits you best. Now, how are you going to make these systems actually work? You need to turn it into a habit by helping yourself check in. So one thing you can do is set daily reminders or alarms in your phone. You can actually set multiple ones too, maybe one in the morning, one in the evening that says, hey, look at your agenda as a reminder. Make sure you're picking a time that works best for you. Don't pick a time where you know you're busy, like at soccer practice and can't do anything. And also pick a time where you know that you'll have an ample enough amount of time to get things done. Another suggestion is then using your agenda to create a prioritized list through the container G. And then to remind yourself to do those things, you can write it on a piece of paper, a sticky note, tape it up to somewhere you're gonna visually look at a lot as a, as a consistent reminder. Or what you can do is use an expo marker on a mirror that you look at, and then that's also a reminder, and then you can quickly erase it and do the same for the next day. Definitely ask permission to do that one before you do it though. Another thing to take advantage of is the notification system, especially if you're one of those people who gets really annoyed seeing that little notification. Um, this is gonna be really helpful for things that are not a part of your daily routine. So for example, when there are things I have to do out of at work that are out of my daily routine, I'll send myself an email of the list of things so that as soon as I get to work, I visually see it. Or what you could do is also have somebody text you something, not open it until you do it. And then that's a consistent reminder that you need to get it done. Now, this is only gonna be really purposeful and work if you do that long-term planning ahead of time. I really suggest doing this because it's going to make sure you remember everything and again see things in advance. This is what I did in college. Um, at the beginning of every semester, we would get our syllabi. I would then take those syllabi that very first day, add all of the assignment and project and test dates in addition to my sorority event dates, in addition to family stuff, and that way I could plan ahead and knew things ahead of time without forgetting them. So why you want to do this is because you're going to have the yearly planner. And then you're tracking ahead of time. So then when you set up the monthly, you can easily transfer that over without forgetting those major things that maybe someone told you three months ago. Then what you do is you transfer the monthly over to the weekly. And this way you're being very thorough and remembering what you need to do. So now when I go over this with my students, I'm going to actually make them do it right now. Um, I provide my calendar for them on my Google site. And so what they're going to be able to do is add major tests, quizzes, assignments, and then they're gonna be able to compare with their other classes really easily. Also, I'm gonna have them add school events and holidays, and then I'm also gonna suggest that they add personal things like birthdays, appointments, family events, etc. So this might be kind of a lot of work ahead of time, but in the end, I promise you it will pay off. 